Welcome back, everyone. I'm Shinigami Tabris. We're doing um, something new. Uh, staying with the naval theme, we're going to play a little bit of World of Warships Legends. Uh, something that Cord found. I hopped on it to try it out. I actually like it. It's sort of interesting. You're, it's got old warships from like World War II, I think. And you're basically uh, commanding them and going into different combat situations. It's quite interesting. We're going to play this for just a little bit. Then we're going to hop on over to Sea of Thieves and do some Sea of Thieves stuff. Um, without further ado, I'm trying to remember, like, where I need to put my camera. Ooh. Might have to, uh, might have to do something in a second. Anyways, um, so, basically, I've unlocked, uh, so I've, I've played a little bit, and I've unlocked a little bit, so I'm level 7, that's like, basically playing, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, like, 8 games, I think. Uh, I basically played one with each. Uh, type of ship to start with so like um, starting off like you've got the, the Albany which is a, a standard cruiser from World War II which is an American cruiser you've got the uh, 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 Chikuma which is the Japanese cruiser the Weymouth which is the British then you have this weird uh, Campbellton, uh, which is a destroyer. And then you've got the Dresden, which is the German. So I've played one of each. Um, each of them have their own little things, like some of them are faster, some of them have more guns, and so forth. But they're all, all except for the destroyer. The destroyer is like its own weird, like, oddity. It's a faster ship. It's smaller also it all it's the only time i've also like really just got obliterated um i recently unlocked this which is the british another cruiser for the british and cruisers are like your standard like you've got battleships cruisers and then destroyers cruisers are like your typical what most people think of as gunships like battleships are like huge but uh, like gunships but this is the cruiser is basically what when pirating started to die these are sort of the, the ships that were would take their place uh, from what I've gathered steam powered wonderful little vessels but since I haven't played with this one yet I was going to get you it on stream um, so I don't know what's about to happen. One of the things I have unlocked recently is I now have commanders. Uh, so at the bottom you see I've got a commander. He's level 1. Each uh, service has their own commander. So like the Japanese have a different commander. The Americans have a different commander. And so forth. Each ship also has its own weird little oddities. So like the Weymouth, it shoots uh, armor-piercing bullets... And it's consumable as it can, like, put fires out. Um, this one does armor piercing and torpedoes. It can put bullets out, uh, put fires out quicker, and I don't know what the other one is. Uh, this one does, uh, can possibly set the ship on fire. That's what the ammunition there is, is it's, uh, setting the ship on fire. Um, and then the commanders have their own weird little abilities. So, like, let's see here. My commander, his increased duration of the repair party consumed. So in other words, it takes, it does more repairs. Uh, and then contact is imminent. Um, I got to choose that one. Let's see here. What does it do? Uh, it increases the travel speed of torpedoes. So my torpedoes are faster. Um, I don't have anything with the British that allow anything to burn, so there's no point in putting those uh, that on. And I try to avoid ramming people as much as possible because 
This game, much like Sea of Thieves, if you ram something, you take damage. So... Oh, I've already unlocked? Wait. I can already rank this guy up to five? Are you crapping me? Uh, I wonder... Oh, that's using those... Uh, that's using resources that I... I don't know if that's... I think that's using special resources, and I don't want to use those. Because it's the, the green currency. Uh, I've got 5,386. And I don't know what the green currency, like, equivalent is. I'm slowly learning. There are multiple currencies in this game. Um, and I'm slowly learning what each of them are. Uh, if you're looking at the very top, above the torpedo stuff i've got yellow currency which is 550 that's actual cash uh it gives you 500 and then i did something that got me another 50 and 500 is like i think two bucks if that uh the white currency is the currency you gather just playing the game green currency i haven't quite figured out what it is it says new and i don't know how to access it I don't know how to access, like, the different types of currency. Um, I don't know what the five days is, and the three box means I've got three shipping containers that I can unlock, uh, which you get random stuff out of those. What is the green currency? Does this tell me? Yeah, so here's the... Uh, yellow currency which buys you all this, like, everything's in yellow currency. I got no idea what the green currency is. Oh, there we go. Convert elite XP to global XP. Convert doubloons to credits, acquire doubloons. Okay. Premium account. I have no idea what a premium account is. Two battles to the next level. There we go. Figured it out. Aha! Anyways, so each to to explain. So I've not unlocked anything other than the one. Well, I've unlocked a couple of them. I just haven't. You have to purchase them. So, like, I've unlocked the St. Louis for the Americans and the Tenru for the uh, Japanese. I purchased the Kaladin, um, and I've unlocked the Kohlberg, but I haven't purchased any of them but the Kaladin yet. Uh, these that are in yellow are premium versions of it, which I'm guessing you have to be a premium player to unlock those. And they basically are... From what I gather, they're already, like, fully stocked better ships. So, in my play, we're doing AI still, because I'm not completely competent on uh, everything to be going against humans yet. So this one's a premium destroyer. I'm guessing I would lose that once my five days is up. I don't know. But we're going to attempt the Kaladin. Uh, it's a little bit faster than... It's faster than the Waymoth. But it also has a ton more firepower, so that's what we're in. So let's go for this. So this is players versus bots. Uh, the longest I've ever sat in a queue so far out of the seven games has been about 30 seconds, uh, which I don't think that's bad. And then you got another 30 second cooldown while everybody else loads into the game. There we go, 19 seconds into that one. So yeah, you got 40 seconds of loading time. So I'd load in about the 30 second marker. 
little later this time. What are we doing? Capture the base. Big race. Okay. I don't know if I've... Yeah, I've played this. So, it's ready to battle, but I don't have to join it real quick. But I can't. Uh, entering battle. So here we go. So we've got... Oh, yep. Move that. We got a tactical map up in the top left. My health is bottom left. Uh, bottom right is my speed. Stations. I want to go with that. Hard right. Hard right. Going back towards my own players because I'm not about to. Most of the combat's gonna be here in the middle. That one dude is gonna get himself killed, going off alone. So you can zoom in. Um, there we go, found somebody. They're quite a distance out. Hoping. trying to zero in on them before I load all of my battery. Wow! Okay. <clears throat> so, uh... That's my first time playing with torpedoes, really. And torpedoes... So, if you're playing a game where nobody has torpedoes... Uh, where your your boat doesn't have torpedoes, no other boat has torpedoes, from what I gathered, uh, the little bit that I've played. Um, wow. That is a quick death. Um, so, it looks like we're going to lose, because we got three boats left. Three ships left versus their four. Two ships left. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose. Yep, here comes more tor uh, torpedoes. Bam! Right in the center of them. This dude has to do it all by himself, and he's already past half health. I don't see this happening. He's level three uh, ship. So this is the the interesting like there's there's like a huge gap. There's a huge change from the single ships. Okay, he's 
see he's damaged. This guy's actually really good. So here's something interesting that I found when you're doing 3 cam. You can actually watch their projectiles. Which I think that's an awesome little feature. Dude, is, if this guy brings it back... Oh, it missed! Okay, so the torpedoes, torpedoes changed this game so drastically. Because used to, I could do sort of like what you would in Sea of Thieves, where you set a course, you make sure you're not going to hit anything, and then you just go straight. But like, yeah, this... Oh my gosh. Uh, congratulations to that dude. Like, I don't know how he won that. I really have no idea how he won that. So, just to give you an, a heads up on how this, like, how I've been playing. I'm gonna go back and play one with the Wave Uh It is a total different style of play than what the other games have been, or that game is. It. This is. This is. I'm. I'm very. Like I said, I'm intrigued with this game. It's. It's caught my attention. Uh, I'm only gonna play like one or two more missions. And then we're going to, uh... Hop over to, uh... Sea of Thieves. So let's go ahead and put us at full speed ahead. I feel sorry for those two dudes all out by themselves. Um... I'm going to, to go straight out here. Action stations. Um, So what you're seeing, you see the orange, that's where all the other, it shows my different cannons are lining up to shoot where I'm facing. Uh, and then when it, they're all, when it's white, it'll tell you also how many of them are available. So there I've got four available. So I can pull the trigger once and one of them will fire. If I pull it twice, all of them will fire at the same time. There we go. we got a shit. Whoa, I got somebody else off the boat. Thank you. 
Of course, the second that I start, like, playing online, where people can watch me, I start sucking it up pretty bad. Did that hit something? No, it didn't hit something. So I just sang. Oh, that's probably the guy. Yep, right. Oh, that's a computer right there. Oh. Yeah, that's a computer vessel. This one? Nope, that's uh... That's a... I love watching the, the ship go under like that. That's pretty interesting. Dude's like playing with something with his microphone on, I can barely hear him. Dude, he's he's taking chances hugging that. I love that much. This is a computer. That's a so, we got two computers, one human, two humans. The one human's being super. This guy, Pricey Ketchup. He's coming in from behind. This guy is just. I don't know how this guy's not dead yet. Other than the fact he's put an island on the camp and everybody else is not fighting. Ah, this is a human. Why you not have seen Oh, that's a Okay, um, let's return to port. <clears throat> so here's something that I find interesting. So, I sunk, but the battle's still going. I can't play with this ship, because it's currently in battle. Uh, I did find this out, like, earlier, because I played with this, and, like, I don't like the destroyer, because it, it does, it's got lower armor, so it goes down quicker. Um, but when the battle ends, if we win, I'll still get all of my victory points and everything for winning in that game. Um, but I can continue to play with one of my other ships while I wait. So this will be my last game of this, and then we're going to hop on over to Sea of Thieves for those that are watching. Um...
this is definitely a game I want to come back and play some more. Uh, from what I gather, it just came out recently because most of the German ships are not available. They're still in the testing phase and stuff like that from, I think that's what it said. Because I was looking at the different ships earlier. So, but I do know that this is like their second game because they have, um, uh, World of Warships. This is just World of Warships Legends. Okay, so... Do I just want to defend? I think I do. No. I owe you one. Action stations. Oh, you're doing your update? Yeah, if I, I just finished my update, like, right before I started streaming. Uh, I decided to stream this for just a little bit because it was one of those me and Corb were talking about it, and it seemed interesting. Um, I played a little bit of it off stream and then hopped on stream. All forces proceed to the base. With it just to, like, show it off so that if Corb was on, he could see it. I I My like thunder. it. It's interesting. Dash it all. My thunder. Okay, dudes. Like, cool that you found the. Uh... My thunder. On Neptune's beard. On Neptune's beard. Dash it all. Yep. Disabled some of their guns. Nice. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Our team has taken the lead. Oh. Put out that fire. The ship is on fire.
Okay. Hey, Leslie, how are you doing? Um, as soon as this round is over with, we'll, um, be, uh, hopping on Sea of Thieves, so I should be there shortly. Capturing their base. This will be the first time that I think I've captured their base to win versus uh, just blowing them all up. 18, 17, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 3, 2, That's an interesting, uh... I hit 36 of my shots hit, I assisted in capture, I incapacitated two ships, I destroyed one ship, and I set three ships on fire. Congratulations, great level 8 of a service record. Boosters and camouflage. Mount boosters and camouflage to boost the economic performance of your ships and their effectiveness in battle. Wow. Okay, so they just added a bunch of new ship XP boost. Okay. So four of these equals one of these, and three of these equals one of these. Okay. Interesting. Wait. That makes no sense, because the XP per battle, that's plus 25%, versus that's plus 50%. So, like, how is four of those equal to one of those? That makes no sense, guys. So yeah, this game is slowly unlocking like a lot of shit. Um, oh, wow, I got 20,000 commander experience. Which means, okay, so I can rank this guy up to four, but that's sort of stupid to rank everybody up, uh, rank one guy up to four, or five, and not rank anybody else up. 
Whereas I can get a couple of them up to like three, maybe. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this. We're going to load up Sea of Thieves. I'm going to get Leslie and maybe Lotus in if Lotus is done with her update. And when Corb gets here, we'll get Corb in here as well. Stick around. We'll be right back. I'm going to uh, pop away for just a second while I get Sea of Thieves loaded up and get everybody into the chat. So we'll be right back, everyone. Mm -hmm. 